<clears throat> okay. Uh, you know, uh, tough week. Uh, the whole week was challenging. You guys know that, get that. Uh, really, really proud of our team. You know, coaches and players of just, just staying the course and getting to the point to where we're playing ball, you know. And, you know, you can look at stats or whatever it is, but, you know, bottom line is our, our team bought into just getting out there and playing ball, you know. And uh, that's what they did. That was a heck of a ball game. Really want to uh, <coughs> compliment our fans. Uh, thought they did a phenomenal job. You know, there's obviously a lot of talk about people giving up on this team and, you know, we we're going to get blown out no matter what it was. But um, you know, didn't you know? Didn't sense that out there on that you know on Mountaineer Field. The fans were as good as uh, as I've seen them, and, and kudos to them. <laughs> you know, so just told the team, you know, enjoy the win. Uh, get ready. It is going to happen again next week. You know, we get to enjoy this one here for about 12 hours, and then we got to get back to work, play another undefeated top 10 team. You know, so it's just life in the Big 12, and we're excited about it. So with that, I'll take some questions. Then was it in the game plan to go downfield, or was that just develop more based on what the state did? It's what they're giving us. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, just, it's just what they're giving us. You look at last week's game, and you can sit here and say, why didn't you target receivers? Well, there's a bunch of different reasons for that. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Clint did a great job of keeping the play alive. And, and we, ha we had a sense that he could do that. Just watching film from when he was at Florida State, uh, you can see that's kind of what he is doing. He's, you know, he he doesn't operate the offense. Everybody's going to ask the question, why hasn't he been playing? Blah blah blah. Uh, he's been getting better and better and better. And and uh, you know, the, the operations for me on the sideline was incredibly frustrating. Uh, I threw a few temper tantrums, which I'm quite embarrassed about. But it's just the communication just needs to get better. The 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 you know the relationship with me and him uh, needs to get better. <clears throat> but he did what we thought he could do, which was just be a ball player and get out there and and keep the play alive. And he does do a good job of throwing the deep ball. When you say the relations need to get better, is that just something that only repetition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and you know, we we, we you know you can sit here and say, you know, you, you needed to rep them more or whatever. But you know, we we've been trying to win football games here too. You know, so just really proud of him. Is you know he's tough. He's what we thought he was. He's tough. He's smart. He doesn't get rattled. Uh, you know, he just gets out there and plays ball, you know, but from an operation standpoint, that, that's going to, that's going to be tough on me. I mean, it, it, it was, it was, it was tough. You know, and Oklahoma State's got a great defense. They haven't given up very many points. I mean, there's a lot of those guys that have been there for three and four years that, that, are, that, that play well, you know, for us to get 30 points on them is, is a tribute to our guys. <clears throat> was one of those uh, temper tantrums, on the delay of game penalty, because he went to the locker room after that, or did he get? Yeah, he got. Yeah, early? he got. He got dinged up. It was really the one. It was on the delay. You know, we didn't snap the ball, but he was. That's when he hurt his arm. You know, and I don't know what happened. I haven't talked to anybody. He went to the locker room. He went to the locker room. I, I don't know what happened, but I'm just like, and that's just his competitive spirit. I mean, dude, if you get hurt, you need to go to lay down. You know, and let somebody come come tend to you, so we don't get a delay. I mean, you know, one one he he was slow getting to the huddle. And then the communication is not very good, so it took longer than I want it to take to get the play called, and then we got a delay. And obviously that's not good. And then the last delay, you know, when we're trying to put the game out of reach, Dreamus, <clears throat> you know, he, he's got to get down. If he can't score, uh, that, that was mistake number one. And then uh, we, we, we subbed, which we should have subbed, and then he's, looked, he's staring at the play clock and he just let it go down. That's, I don't know what to say. i got to coach him better. Um, so, you know, there was a couple of them that resulted in a temper tantrum. i got to do better at that. All the changes that you made, do you think that shake-up may have helped spur along that? Yeah, considering, I mean, we actually scored points and, and had a few first downs. <laughs> you know, yeah, I think it probably did. And, again, you know, this, you know we don't know how guys are going to develop and how guys are going to respond to situations until we put a Put them in those situations, and we're you know we're playing with so many new guys, and, and uh, there are some things that happened that hadn't happened in the past. So that's improvement. Uh, we we got to continue to improve. You know, I was asked this a bunch last week: Is this a gauge? Is the Maryland game a gauge for where you're at? Well, it is game four, but it's not game five. <coughs> so it, it, offensively, we're going to keep playing. We're going to keep getting better. And if that means changing people around, then we will. <coughs> 
were, were a lot of your questions about your defense to answer today? Played well. Golly, they played well. They created turnovers. They, they, they stuck people. They made plays in key situations. They set up scores. They held a, a, a team to 21 points that probably hasn't been held to 21 points <clears throat> for quite some time. Uh, yeah, they, they, they played well. They played really well. We played really well uh, defensively. We played okay offensively. Special teams, we got issues. We've got to get sorted out. Coach, after how tough this last week was, like you mentioned, what was it like that final minute for this coaching staff? I think we saw Coach Peterson's best vertical leap all year. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of, you know, there's been a bunch of emotions here in the last week, as you guys can, you know, probably, you know, uh, figure out. I mean, disappointment, embarrassment, you know, you can go down the, the list. And, and But but they, they kept they, they kept working, obviously. Our kids kept working. We had the best week of practice we've had all year. Uh, I thought our prep was good. Uh, you know, we get ourselves to the game. We <coughs> felt like we could win. We did. We felt like we could win, so we went out there and we, you know, we, we wanted it pretty bad, you know, and it, it wasn't pretty in some situations, but uh, we, we, we did a great job. And then to come into a, a stadium that was rocking and just was really in the game the whole time is a tribute to our fans. You know, it's a special moment at the end of the game for sure. How important was the interception for a touchdown early yeah. on? When it's it huge. <clears throat> Man, huge. And, and, and that's what we talked about all week. And I said this to y'all, I believe, on Tuesday. You know, that, that we look at all these, these goals and stuff up here defensively and we think we're playing better defense, which we are. Uh, but if you want to go from good to great, then you gotta, you got to make bigger plays. And we did. Cook's interception in the fourth quarter was huge. Icky's interception return for a touchdown was enormous. Uh, we got the fumble, which set up a, a field goal, which was, was huge. Well, that's the reason we won the game. I don't want to call them great yet, but they 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 improved. I'm really proud of Coach Patterson and the defensive staff and, and, and what they've been able to do. They've been they've been getting better each week. Did you did you feel after last week when it seemed like <coughs> no, no break went your way at, at any time that ev that almost everything went your way today? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I addressed that with them too. <laughs> you know, I, I, everybody's like, you know, you got no breaks, you got no breaks. Well, uh, you know, this this is how breaks work. I mean, if you if you play. <clears throat> with, with a tremendous amount of effort and, and, and you try really hard. And that's what we talked about. On all three sides of the ball, Maryland played with more effort and they strained harder than we did. Okay, And they got breaks because of it. That's not a coincidence. Okay, and So then I really felt like our guys played harder than they've played, played with more effort. <clears throat> they strained their bodies hard. Uh, we prepared hard. And then if you do all that, then the breaks will come. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, fellas.